Hi guys, I'm in the backyard um, with a bunch of plastics and if you can guess, that's what we're talking about today, um, plastics. Now, there's a lot of concerns about plastics in the ocean and there's this thing called the, the huge ocean uh, garbage patch, which is uh, the, the currents bring together the plastics that are in the, the ocean and they kind of keep in the one place. We have three videos, actually four videos today to, to take a look at. First one is sci-fi, sci-show kids, and Jesse tells us about how uh, where plastics had come from and what we can do with them, and and how they can have some uh, major uh, impacts on the environment and what we can do about that. Um, after that is uh, it's okay to be smart. Joe tells us about how much plastic ends up in the ocean, and uh, third one is another one about the the ocean and plastics in the ocean. The great. Um, the Pacific Garbage Patch says just how much stuff is in there and, and describes it. And you can see there's some of the pictures or the videos from that. Then, uh, last one is what's California doing about um, the plastic issues? Now, the video is probably about three years old, so it talks about what they've done with uh, President Obama, that was before President Trump. And uh, But still, these are what they're working on and some ideas with that. For um, just an understanding, the uh, the plastics in the ocean, not necessarily all just like this stuff together. Uh, once it breaks down a little bit, it takes 500 years or more to break down completely, but uh, they'll break down a little bit and then there's just a bunch of it pieces flying around and then the, the fish um, really can get messed up with that. So these are just some plastics that I have around the house to put into recycling. Obviously, I don't do, but uh, you can recycle these. I've read uh, both ways that you're supposed to take the tops off of them and put them in, or you can leave the tops on. It, it didn't seem to make much of a difference. Um, I think it might be a little bit easier if you take the, the tops off. And sometimes if the tops don't have a marking for that, just throw those away and then leave these in. Uh, everything could be washed out or just quickly rinsed out. Um, laundry detergents, yes. They go in and um, the top probably take off and keep it separate. Milk jugs, um, they do, they also go in and uh, probably the tops off of those. Um, these things, we were using water. My well was not working the best. Uh, so we've been getting water, but this not to go to recycling places. Um, this I'll just take back to the store and then they'll be able to refill it. Because there is an issue with when we recycle uh, pop bottles or, or other containers like these, when they recycle them, they usually don't put them back in to make more pop bottles. I thought that that was the case. I thought like, okay, they just take them, they, they put them back in. Problem is, once they break these things down, put them back together, they're not as strong as they are or that they need to be. So they'll use the recycled plastic and other things. They'll use them, uh, they're using them in roads. Now they're using them in sidewalks. We did find out just, just a few weeks ago, I read, that they have come up with an enzyme. Enzyme, just a fancy term for like a, uh, uh, we have enzymes in our stomach that uh, break things down or, or it's the way we have enzymes inside of us that, that break down proteins so we can use them. Well, they found an enzyme in some bacteria that will break these things down in like 10 days where it was taking over a year or two years just to break them down. And then the way they were breaking them down, if they put them back together, they, were, they weren't strong enough. But this new enzyme that they found will take these, break them down, and be able to be used again to make uh, stronger plastics. So the plastics that we have, you can uh, recycle them and count on them to, uh, once again, to, uh, to be able to, to make these things. But plastics, as you'll see, they've only been around maybe 100, 125 years, and, um, and they, they're easy to make, they're cheap, but they do last a long time and they don't break down very well. So I think for us, environmentally, is if we can avoid using plastics, that's probably the best thing that we can do. We're not going to be able to live without plastics. But um, if we can limit, like the number of shopping bags, you take a cloth bag instead, or um, if you use your hydro flasks or your, your water bottles to fill up instead of uh, buying bottled water. Those things are great, and you know I'm not always the best about this myself. But anyway, um, watch the videos, three questions afterwards, get on it.